What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Today's video is about the Xbox One Project Scorpio, what we can expect this year, and what some of the developers working on this thing are actually saying about it. Is it going to be as powerful as they say? Will it be able to run native 4K 60 frames per second? It seems like a dream. We can barely get 1080p 60 on anything now. So 4K 60 seems like a dream, like a magic trick. Some kind of thing that they're going to do, you know, wave a magic wand in front of our television to make us see it. But it's possible. And according to the bosses over at 343, the Xbox One Scorpio is even beefier than they expected. I'll drop a link in the description. Xbox Project Scorpio, beefier than expected, says Halo Boss. Ever since Microsoft teased its next-gen gaming console, the Xbox Project Scorpio at E3 2016, the company has been touting it as the most powerful gaming console ever. The software giant will release Project Scorpio before 2017 holiday season. Now the head of 343 Industries and franchise development director of Halo, Frank O'Connor, has revealed that the upcoming system is beefier than he expected. Project Scorpio Specs Responding to fans in a NeoGAF forum thread, O'Connor said that he hadn't paid a lot of attention to the specifics of the Project Scorpio, though he might have, quote, seen it in a slide or something, end quote. He did mention that it would be, quote, beefier than expected, end quote. Halo is among Microsoft's biggest franchises, and 343 Industries has yet to announce games on Project Scorpio. Anyway, O'Connor's comments are enough to get gamers excited for Microsoft's upcoming console. Key specs for Project Scorpio include true 4K gaming, 6 teraflops of power, high fidelity virtual reality, an octa-core processor, and 320 gigabytes of memory bandwidth. It's unclear whether the console would even be more powerful than its already announced specs. Scorpio to cost more than the Xbox One S. I think this is a give me. Xbox chief Phil Spencer has confirmed that Project Scorpio would cost more than the Xbox One S. That's a given considering it'll be, quote, the most powerful console ever made, end quote. He said in November that the resources Microsoft is putting into the project would ensure that it meets demands of the higher-end consumer. The company may reveal its pricing at E3 2017. Phil Spencer has confirmed that none of the previous Xbox One consoles will be left out of future gaming titles. The upcoming console also presents a huge potential for virtual reality gaming, and a section of gamers were disappointed with Sony's PlayStation 4 Pro because of the emission of a 4K Blu-ray player. A strong performance for Project Scorpio could help close those gaps between Microsoft and Sony in the console market. Will AMD chips power the Project Scorpio? Project Scorpio was recently mentioned at AMD's booth at CES 2017. The console was mentioned during a New Horizon livestream. It has sparked speculations that Microsoft's console could be powered by AMD's architecture. AMD unveiled its high-performance Vega GPU architecture at CES. According to TweakDown, AMD has indicated previously that it was working with Microsoft on Project Scorpio, and its technology could power the console. However, AMD has not revealed which processors the Scorpio would use. It is rumored to use scaled versions of AMD's Ryzen CPU and Vega GPU. AMD is currently working to integrate the Ryzen CPU and Vega GPU on a single chip. Well, from the specs and from all the rumors and speculation that we've heard so far of the Xbox One Scorpio, the 6 teraflops and, and the GPU and CPU inside this thing was already going to be super powerful. If the head of 343 Industries is saying it's beefier than they expected, I'm starting to think that the rumors that this thing could possibly do 4K60 might actually be true. I mean, the PlayStation 4 Pro doesn't even have close to that power, and it's able to checkerboard render at 4K and make games look incredible, so I'm thinking that Microsoft could have pulled out all the stops to make this Xbox Scorpio uh, a beast of a console for gamers. And if they did, I can't wait to see it. Hopefully, we'll see it at E3 this year. And they'll show us what games look like and what we can expect as far as performance from the Scorpio. I'm excited about this thing. I think that this could be a huge turning point for the console market of the world. I think if Microsoft does this right and they get really good talent working on the Xbox Scorpio, they could actually turn this thing around and go head-to-head -head with PlayStation uh, in the future. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited about the Xbox Scorpio? Do you believe the rumors and the hype? Do you think that this thing can actually do 4K60? Possibly. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.